Hey, welcome back. Today marks 100 days until a very unique event at the JW Marriott in downtown Indianapolis. It's called Dining in the Dark, and it's just that. Attendees are encouraged to wear sleep masks and experience dinner in the dark. It's all to raise awareness of the rehabilitation programming offered by Bosma's Center for Visionary Solutions. Joining me this morning to share more about this incredible event are Brandon Wells, the executive director of the Bosma Foundation and co-chair member of the event, Chris Dunleavy. You guys, this is a really cool event for someone that's never experienced it. A lot of times, I don't think you realize when you eat, you really are using your sight a lot to be able to get spoon and fork to you know, your mouth. What is this event like for people when they experience it? So first of all, it is a wonderful opportunity to celebrate and have fun and celebrate an incredible cause and an incredible group of people. Mm -hmm. So September 21st at the JW Marriott, we're going to don the sleep shades while we eat. And uh, fortunately for those of us who are sighted, we do have an ambassador at our table who is an expert in literally dining in the dark every okay. day of your life. So they walk us through that process. For me, it's always a moral victory not to w knock the bottle of wine over. Absolutely, that would be a good yeah, goal. A good start. Yeah, and, and really it just gives a taste of what it's like to do, um, you know, a, a, what we consider to be a, a daily simple task, mm -hmm. uh, but do it without vision, you know. So in my case, as someone who's visually impaired, that's what I go through on a daily basis. So it just gives a, a sample of what that might be like for someone who's fully sighted. Absolutely, and talk about what the process has been like, because this does benefit a rehabilitation um, program is kind of the purpose behind all of this, right? So when you've been through um, a visionary rehabilitation program. Yeah, it, it really does help uh, Hoosiers uh, who, who have lost their vision. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2023, we helped over a thousand Hoosiers uh, just basically learn the adaptive skills so that they can uh, regain their independence, get back to work, doing all those things that they were once able to do, just doing it in a, in a different way. Mm -hmm. Because I know that's certainly a big feat. So, Brandon, why don't you talk a little bit about, you know, where does the money from this event, where does it benefit, kind of the purpose behind it? Absolutely. So the Center for Visionary Solutions is the only comprehensive program for adult Hoosiers who are blind or visually impaired. And it costs a lot of resources to get them the rehabilitative services they need to live independently. So all the proceeds that we raise at Dining in the Dark will go to some incredible clients of ours at the center and it will empower them to learn the technology they need to get back to work to live independently in their own home and that need is growing so every year this event grows we're going to raise over three hundred thousand dollars and we hope to have uh, close to 800 hoosiers joining us that night that is incredible mm -hmm. so tell people who maybe haven't been part of this before or don't know how to get tickets how can you get signed up and get involved in this absolutely we are 100 days out so we're coming down the home stretch mm -hmm. and we're getting into celebration mode so you can go to bosma.org forward slash dining in the dark okay. and tickets are on sale now. All right, so make sure you go check those out. For more information about dining in the dark and the Bosma Center for Visionary Solutions, just head over to fox59.com slash links. We've got all the info you need to get involved, get tickets. It is sure to be a very cool experience to go check out. In the meantime, let's send it over to Tyler with a check of the weather.